Hello YouTube, just a quick video today. Today I'd like to talk to you about something you're almost certainly unaware of. So, car crashes. Nobody likes them, but they're an inevitable part of everyday life with a fatality rate of about 5 per 100,000 in Australia per year. But did you know that the amount of damage your car receives in a crash is not proportional to your speed? If you double your speed, you will not have twice as bad a car crash. In fact, it will be worse. If you double your speed, your car crash will be four times as bad. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit imprecise with my language there. What I mean is that if you go twice as fast, then four times the energy will be dissipated throughout the body of the car. There's only so much those crumple zones, airbags and other safety features can do for you so this is a good thing to know. Now, why is this true? Well, it all comes down to a physical property of systems in motion known as kinetic energy. Let me chuck an equation up on the screen right now. The equation for the kinetic energy of a system is equal to half mv squared. That's half times the mass times the square of the velocity. It's this dependence on the square of the velocity which causes the rapid increases in energy. Two times the speed, four times the energy. Three times the speed, nine times the energy. Four times the speed, a whopping 16 times the energy. In the event of a crash, this kinetic energy has to go somewhere. That's known as the principle of conservation of energy. The energy will be transformed into things such as heat, sound, and deformation of the body of the car. If I want to be super precise, I can't say exactly what impact this dissipation of energy will have on the passengers of the car, but I am being absolutely precise when I say that if you double the speed of your car, four times the amount of energy will need to be dissipated in the event of a crash, and that can't be good for anyone. So I hope this little video has served as a further reminder of why you should be careful of your speed. Even a 10% increase in your speed leads to a 21% increase in the kinetic energy of the car. So thanks for watching, and if you liked it, be sure to subscribe, link, and share. See you next time.